Elon Musk's Neuralink brain chip company has inserted its first device in a human, according to the billionaire CEO. Musk has previously revealed big plans for the chip and we've rounded up some of them below. Musk went into detail about his plans for his Neuralink brain chip during a Q&A session on the Clubhouse app in 2021. Elon Musk's Neuralink has taken a bold step into the frontiers of brain-computer interaction, implanting its first device in a human. This move sends ripples through the scientific and technological communities, igniting both intrigue and cautious optimism. But what exactly is Neuralink, and what grand ambitions does Musk envision for this brain-machine interface? Way of connecting with your loved ones, browsing the web, or even playing games using only your thoughts. This is made possible by placing a small, cosmetically invisible implant in a part of your brain that plans movements. The device is designed to interpret your neural activity so you can operate a computer or a smartphone by simply thinking about moving. No wires or physical movement are required. By participating in the PRIME study, you'd be helping to redefine the boundaries of human... Imagine the joy of connecting with your loved ones browsing the web, or even playing games using only your thoughts. This is made possible by placing a small, cosmetically invisible implant in a part of your brain that plans movements. The device is designed to interpret your neural activity so you can operate a computer or a smartphone by simply thinking about moving. No wires or physical movement are required. By participating in the PRIME study, you'd be helping to redefine the boundaries of human capability. Let's delve deeper into the brain game and explore the potential, challenges, and ethical considerations surrounding this groundbreaking technology. While Musk frames Neuralink's purpose as safeguarding humanity from the potential pitfalls of artificial intelligence, the chip's potential extends far beyond mere survival. Neuralink aspires to augment human capabilities, enabling us to Restore lost functions, imagine regaining sight, hearing, or motor control through the chip's direct neural communication. This holds immense promise for individuals with disabilities and neurodegenerative diseases. Boost cognitive abilities, Neuralink envisions enhancing memory, focus, and learning by facilitating seamless brain-computer interaction. Imagine effortlessly absorbing information or mastering complex skills through direct neural pathways. Creative expression, Neuralink could potentially unlock new avenues for artistic expression by translating brain activity into music, painting, or even virtual reality experiences. Musk's ultimate vision paints a picture of a symbiotic relationship between humans and AI. Neuralink could potentially enable us to directly communicate with machines, control devices with our thoughts, and even experience virtual realities indistinguishable from our own. This raises fascinating questions about the nature of consciousness, identity, and the very definition of what it means to be human. However, amidst the excitement, significant challenges and ethical considerations loom large. Concerns regarding data privacy, security, and potential misuse of this technology are paramount. Who controls the data gleaned from our brains? How do we ensure equitable access to this potentially transformative technology? And how do we navigate the slippery slope of cognitive enhancement without compromising our individuality and humanity? Neuralink's first human implant marks a significant milestone in the quest for human-machine integration. While the road ahead is paved with challenges and uncertainties, the potential benefits this technology holds for enhancing human capabilities, restoring lost functions, and even shaping our relationship with AI are undeniable. As we cautiously navigate this uncharted territory, open dialogue, rigorous ethical frameworks, and responsible development are crucial to ensure that the brain game benefits all of humanity. You could probably save state in the brain. So if you were to die, your state could be returned in the form of another human body or a robot body, he said. The billionaire compared this saving process to backing up a video game. There could be something analogous to a video game, like a save game situation, where you are able to upload your last state. Maybe lose a few memories, but mostly be you, he explained. It's also hoped the Neuralink brain chip will be able to help humans compete with artificial intelligence. 
Elon Musk's vision for the future paints a fascinating, yet somewhat unsettling, picture of humanity's relationship with artificial intelligence. Haunted by the specter of an AI extinction event, he envisions a path not towards domination or subservience, but towards a harmonious symbiosis between humans and their increasingly sophisticated creations. This ambition lies at the heart of his brain-computer interface company, Neuralink, and its controversial, yet potentially transformative, technology. Musk's concerns about AI are not merely hypothetical musings. At the UK's AI Safety Summit in 2022, he openly acknowledged the above-zero chance of AI posing an existential threat, albeit through a gradual, insidious process rather than a Hollywood-style robot uprising. This fear fuels his pursuit of Neuralink, not as a defensive measure against AI overlords, but as a bridge towards a mutually beneficial coexistence. The concept of symbiosis, borrowed from biology, envisions two distinct entities coexisting in a way that benefits both. In the context of AI, this translates to a seamless integration where humans leverage the power of AI to enhance their own capabilities, while AI, in turn, learns and evolves through its interaction with the human mind. Neuralink, with its proposed brain-computer interface, presents a potential pathway towards this symbiotic ideal. By directly interfacing with the neural tissue, the chip could theoretically enable us to augment our cognitive abilities, imagine boosting memory, processing speed, and learning capacity, effectively turning ourselves into walking supercomputers. Control external systems with our thoughts, think of manipulating devices, vehicles, or even virtual environments simply through the power of our minds. Enhanced sensory perception, envision receiving and interpreting information beyond the limitations of our natural senses, potentially opening doors to entirely new realms of experience. However, the path to AI symbiosis is not without its thorns. The very notion of interfacing with the brain raises critical questions about data privacy and security, who owns and controls the vast amount of neural data generated by such a system? How do we safeguard against potential breaches and misuse? Ethical considerations, does augmenting our minds fundamentally alter our sense of identity and what it means to be human? Who sets the boundaries and ensures equitable access to such transformative technology? Unforeseen consequences, could unforeseen interactions between the human brain and AI lead to unintended and potentially harmful outcomes? Musk's quest for AI symbiosis through Neuralink is undeniably ambitious, and the potential rewards are indeed tantalizing. However, it's crucial to tread this path with utmost caution and responsibility. Open dialogue, rigorous ethical frameworks, and continuous vigilance are paramount to ensure that the dance between humans and AI becomes a harmonious tango, rather than a disastrous misstep. Musk has also said that his brain chip could be used to treat people with brain injuries. A few years ago at the Wall Street Journal CEO Council Summit, he said his plans for Neuralink are to first implant the chips in humans that have severe spinal cord injuries. I think we have a chance with Neuralink to restore full body functionality to someone who has a spinal cord injury, the tech CEO said at the summit. The billionaire thinks it could be possible for the chip to make up for whatever lost capacity somebody has. We don't yet know who received Musk's first brain chip or whether they were suffering from an injury before implantation. The potential security vulnerabilities of brain-computer interfaces like Neuralink are a major concern, and rightfully so. The idea of uploading viruses or facing malicious hacking attempts directly into our brains is chilling, and it's definitely not just a fringe fear. Let's delve deeper into these potential downsides and explore some ways to mitigate them. Mind Malware Imagine a scenario where a malicious actor injects malicious code into a Neuralink device, potentially manipulating memories, emotions, or even controlling the user's actions. This raises chilling possibilities of cybercrime on a whole new level, with devastating personal and societal consequences. Hacking the cortex, the risk of hacking Neuralink devices is another major concern. If a hacker gains access to the chip's communication channels, they could potentially eavesdrop on thoughts, implant false memories, or even hijack control of the user's body. This raises serious questions about data privacy, security, and the very notion of free will in a technologically augmented mind. 
fortressing the firewall, so, how do we address these concerns? Thankfully, researchers and developers are already working on robust security measures. These include Encryption, implementing robust encryption protocols to safeguard data transmission and storage within the chip and its connected systems. Hardware firewalls, integrating hardware-level security measures within the chip itself to prevent unauthorized access and manipulation. Biometric authentication, utilizing unique biometric identifiers like brainwaves or electrochemical signatures to ensure only authorized users can interact with the device. Transparency and open dialogue, beyond technical solutions, fostering open dialogue and public awareness about the potential risks and benefits of this technology is crucial. This includes Clear ethical guidelines, establishing clear ethical frameworks and regulations to guide the development and deployment of Neuralink, ensuring responsible and accountable usage. Independent oversight, Implementing independent oversight mechanisms to monitor the development and application of this technology, preventing potential misuse. Public education, educating the public about the potential risks and benefits of brain-computer interfaces, empowering individuals to make informed decisions about their own participation in this technology. While the potential downsides of Neuralink are concerning, it's important to remember that technology often faces similar challenges at its inception. Through responsible development, robust security measures, and open dialogue, we can navigate these challenges and harness the immense potential of Neuralink for good, ultimately shaping a future where technology empowers rather than endangers our minds. Thank you for watching.